last patch of youth that I have. Everything else is gray. Look at that. That's weird looking. All right, uh, we've got we've got the Boris and Robin show starting in just a little bit. Uh, so I uh, figured we'd run down some of the stuff we were planning for the show today with the pre-show show, like we always do. Um, first, we're going to talk about uh, Dave Chappelle. I wanted to talk about this yesterday. We didn't have enough time, but um, uh, I guess he recently did a uh, stand-up show, and he was allegedly so drunk that he made no sense whatsoever. Some of the video leaked to uh, TMZ. And uh, people are so angry, they walked out of the show, they demanded their money back. Um, so hopefully Dave will be okay, he doesn't run away to Africa again or, or something, because he's supposed to be having a big comeback. Um, but the question we're going to have this morning is, what is the worst, worst show you've ever been to, and have you ever walked out of a show or demanded your money back? Uh, I've been to a few concerts that I've left just because I got bored in the middle <laughs> of them. I never demanded my money back though, but we'll, we'll talk more about that on the air this morning. I'm sure a few of our listeners have seen some terrible, terrible shows. Hopefully they weren't ones that we sent you to. Um, also, we're going to be talking about Brian Williams. You know, he hasn't uh, been in the news or reading the news for uh, quite some time, but uh, yesterday I guess uh, they were leaking more information about other things Brian Williams has been lying about. I guess they found a couple of interviews that he did talking about places and things that he's never been to or done. Um, so, you know, I was, I was on Brian Williams' team for a while, but now with all of these news stories about him just constantly lying, um, I don't know how he can be a, a newsman again. Uh, but I, I will tell you something very interesting. You know, it, it's, he's been sitting there for, it seems like, months now, waiting to find out if he's going to be fired or not. Uh, after lying and now all these other lies, they didn't just pull the plug. Uh, I googled yesterday, newsman fired four. And, like, the first hundred entries came up with people cursing on the air. So, apparently, it's a lot easier to get fired for saying the F word by mistake than it is for you purposely lying <laughs> to people about what you've done. So, our question this morning is, what's worse? Is it, is it worse to, for a newsman to curse on the air or for him to lie about certain details about things and... Uh, you know, which which should be easier to get fired for. So uh, we'll have that this morning. Also, uh, the lying game for, in honor of Brian Williams continues. Uh, your chance to win Mountain Jam tickets. And tomorrow is our last April Fuels of the month. We're going to give you the code word and let you know everything that you need to get free gas tomorrow from WPDH. All right, it's going to be a good show. I really should just shave more. This is weird looking. It's like a straight line. Look at it. 